While we celebrate Bitcoin going to all-time highs, Biden's got a plan for that. And we're going to be talking here today about Biden's Bitcoin tax. And really, it's not just on Bitcoin. It's on crypto mining of any digital assets that are using mining processes to confirm transactions. Biden wants to implement a 30% tax on those miners, folks. This is truly unbelievable. Well, is it really though? Is it really a shock or a surprise? But I wanna show you this first part here. This is what really grinds my gears. Look at the opening statement about the current law. Now, this document right here, this is the general explanations of the administration's fiscal year 2025 revenue proposal. So they put out the proposals for the budget for 2025, but then they have to put out an explainer and uh, it still, you know, is, is a ridiculous read. But right here, this is what really grinds my gears right here. Imposed digital asset mining energy excess tax. What is the current law? Current law does not provide tax rules specifically addressing digital assets with the exception of certain rules relating to broker reporting and reporting of cash transactions. Now, why does that bug me so much? Because they're admitting that we still don't have laws for taxing digital assets. And by extension, right, we don't have laws for classifying them either. Well, he allows the SEC and Gary Gensler to go on this Operation Choke Point Rampage crusade after the cryptocurrency space. We don't have clear tax laws. We don't have clear regulations. But nonetheless, let's issue a tax first. This is the U.S. government for you. Now, we continue on here, reasons for change. They talk about how there's currently no tax. An excess tax on electricity usage by digital asset miners could reduce mining activity along with its associated environmental impacts and other harms. Well, yeah, sure, let's just move on over to XRP. We could solve that problem real quick, couldn't we? Now, here's the proposal. Any firm using computing resources, whether owned by the firm or leased from others to mine digital assets, would be subject to an excise tax equal to 30% of the cost of electricity used in digital asset mining. Firms engaged in digital asset mining would be required to report the amount and type of electricity used as well as the value of that electricity if purchased externally. Firms that lease computational capacity would be required to report the value of the electricity used by the lesser firm attributable to the leased capacity, which would serve as the tax base. Firms that produce or acquire power off-grid, for example, by using the output of a particular electricity generating plant, would be subject to an excess tax equal to 30% of estimated electricity costs. That's right, folks. So even if you're using solar, using wind, using, you know, uh, you know, uh, hydroelectric power, right? And uh, basically there's no cost, right? No, no problem there. You're using basically excess energy that's being burned off. Well, you're still going to get taxed. No avoiding it. Except as otherwise provided by the secretary, the term digital asset means any digital representation of value, which is recorded on a cryptographically secure distributed ledger or any similar technology as specified by the secretary. The proposal would be effective for taxable years beginning after December 31st, 2024. The excess tax would be phased in over three years at a rate of 10% in the first year, 20% in the second, and 30% thereafter. So there you have it, folks. This is Biden's plan for taxing Bitcoin miners and for any other miners, right, that are using this process. And I, you know, would I would really actually wonder if this would apply. I'd have to dig deeper into this. And I mean, we'll still have to see if this would apply to something like proof of stake as well, too, right? Um, you know, I, I don't know. This is something that just came across. This just got released. And so I'm reading this for the first time as well. Um, but nonetheless, folks, this is a death blow to the miners. I mean, think about this. You have the Bitcoin halving coming up, which reduces the amount of Bitcoin that they're going to receive as a block reward. And then if you tack on this tax as well, I mean, come on, folks. And even if you're using solar, wind, hydroelectric power, right, it's going to you know, reduce your costs or maybe your costs are going to be little to nothing to produce that Bitcoin, right? You're still going to get taxed. And so this is going to be a very interesting one to see if this gets passed, if this gets allowed to go through really grinds my gears to see them you know we don't have clear regulations we don't even really know how we can safely 
uh, operate and use these digital assets, but let's figure out how to tax them first. This is how we got our priorities so screwed up now here in the United States of America. Really doesn't come as much of a surprise as we see this, but you know, this is assuming that we're going to have this current administration elected for four more years. And I'll leave that up to you guys to speculate on. But nonetheless, Biden's got a plan for this one. Just like Elizabeth, I got a plan for that Warren. They got a plan for us peasants. And it's to tax the absolute heck out of us. You know, um, as you can see, though, clearly, if you move on over to an asset that doesn't involve mining like XRP, you solve that problem pretty quickly, don't you? All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up this session. Everything's at my website. I appreciate everyone for stopping by. Please make sure you smash it on the way out and subscribe so you don't miss any of our content. God bless you. I am your host, Zach Rector. I really appreciate all of the love and support. If you want to support the channel, just remember that you can start by smashing that thumbs up for me, sharing this content far and wide, and everything else is at my website.